Hello Star Citizens, welcome or welcome back to the channel today with a video for the Aegis Eclipse. So we'll jump right over to Urkel to discuss the best loadout. And to be really blunt, you don't need to change anything here. Don't bother about the laser repeaters, you will not need them. Only thing I recommend changing is the torpedoes. The basic torpedoes are cross-section, which is fine, however I prefer the infrared version. Both will one-shot a hammerhead easily, however I got the impression that the infrared version hits slightly better. You can buy the torpedoes in Area 18 or Orison. For the Quantum Drive you can equip a faster one, however the Eclipse really relies on stealth gameplay, so I recommend keeping the stock Quantum Drive, which is a stealth variant and which is totally fine. Most of the time you will stay in one space system anyways. So how does the gameplay with the Aegis Eclipse look like? Here I selected an ERT bounty mission and the target is a hammerhead. Still equipped with the stock torpedoes, I close in to around about 10 kilometers, get a missile lock, fire the put torpedo and wait. And in more than 90% of the cases, that's basically it. Maybe that's not too exciting for you, however, it is really easy money made. And the looks and the design of the Eclipse is really nice. It really looks like a warbird. Alright, let's make some space money. So I equip the infrared version of the torpedoes and on we go. First I'll try one or two ERT missions and then we will test out if even smaller bounty missions are possible with the Eclipse. It is a bit annoying if you have a bounty mission which is not located at one of the jump points. So you have to fly around a bit, however the Eclipse is really fast in a straight line.
right, I think we have proven that ERT missions are no issue at all. Can we do all the bounty missions right from the beginning? Let's try a low risk target. This is an Origin 300i as a target. You can see that we need to go much closer to get a lock on the torpedo. Once we get a lock, the target is good as dead. In one of the next missions I had the target which was an Eclipse as well, so a stealth bomber. And that was really causing a lot of trouble, because I needed to get really really close in order to get a lock. In fact too close for my torpedo to lock on, so I increased the distance again and could no longer spot the target. So in the end I had to cancel that mission and select another one. Also, while you see me here doing a MRT mission, you need to know that this is not really efficient, because restocking of the torpedoes is too expensive. So here I land for the refueling and restocking, and you can see that restocking the torpedoes is more than 11,000 Alpha UEC. You really need to do VHRTs or ERTs to compensate these costs. Also a thing that you should not do, or maybe just to make it a bit more exciting, is to get really up close to the target to see the explosion. In this case you will get spotted and know that the Eclipse is not meant for dogfighting or for any close-up engagements. Don't even try to dogfight. Your hull is paper thin and you will just explode and you will not have any chance against a competent opponent. Last thing to mention is that in the current iteration of the game, you can save the 11,000 for restocking. Just hold backspace to initiate self-destruct and a few moments later you can reclaim the ship with a full equipment of torpedoes, saving the cost. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like, comment and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next one.